Hey everyone, this is Caroline and Kathy from V Technologies. I'm getting together with you today to discuss ship gear and new features. We appreciate everybody taking the time out of their afternoon to um, take a look at our webinar and hopefully it will um, be insightful as far as some of the new things we've been working on with the ship gear product and also what's coming um, up as far as new features. So. Just to give you a little background on V Technologies, we've been specializing in integrated shipping solutions since 89. That's our primary focus is the carrier compliance. Um, so we have a couple products. Our Starship product is the one that we initially launched. It's our flagship product, multi-carrier solution. And we've always connected to accounting or ERP systems. That's our niche, um, being able to bring in order information and then update orders in real time. About 15 years ago, we launched our ShipGear product. And ShipGear was meant more for entry-level um, solution, where it's middleware that connects the carrier supplied systems such as UPS WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager um, with the various ERP systems. And together um, we have about 10,000 customers running the combination of our solutions. We are a strategic UPS ready partner certified with both FedEx and Indicia and have various certifications with the ERP systems that we integrate to such as Sage and QuickBooks. Today we're going to be focusing primarily on ship gear, so we wanted to give you just a highlight of some of the features that we've been working on recently. Um, one of the biggest ones that um, we are offering now is the post office integration through Indicia Professional. So in the past, ship gear supported UPS and FedEx, and with this new integration, you are now able to use Indicia Professional to process USPS shipments in the same way that you can process your UPS and FedEx shipments. Um, Shipgear accounts also receive discount postage, so we have a partnership with Indicia and Parcel Partners to offer you CPP rates, which have historically been accessible only through customers that were doing a certain amount of volume with the post office, um, but now you have access to these um, discounted rates just by the mere fact that you're a Shipgear customer. Um, as with all the other ship gear integrations that we have with other carriers, you will always have the ability to personalize the interface. Um, we give you a nice user interface to have access to all the field maps and translations. You don't need to know anything about your database. We use the labels from the fields that are actually stored in your system, so what you're used to looking at. Um, and it's basically just a little you know, drop down to allow um, ship gear to define how you want fields translated into the systems that you're connecting to, um, whether it be WorldShip or Indicia Professional, as well as the translations. So if you wanted to um, use ship via to translate to multiple fields, you can have a one-to-many relationship there, things of that nature. Also, we give, um, provide the dashboard as a standard feature with ship gear. Just basically gives the entire office access to history and metrics through a browser without having to access the carrier systems. Um, all the shipments, whether they be going through um, WorldShip or Indies Professional or FedEx Ship Manager, are all stored in the ship gear database. Um, so you have access to all those. You don't have to go to the individual carrier supplied systems in order to find um, shipment detail. We have a freight rules module that allows you to define how and when the freight is updated. This module, you can define um, the rules and you can base those rules on parameters. The parameters can be your ERP system parameters, maybe customer type or order total, or they can be parameters that are based on the carrier system, such as free charge. Um, we also have an email module with ShipGear that allows you to define your own templates so you don't have to be tied to what the carrier wants your customers to see. You can um, have your own branding in there, put your logos in, 
Um, the nice thing with our email notification is you can also put in the um, ERP or accounting system field such as PO number or order number and then you can drive traffic back to your site for repeat business by um, putting in coupon codes, sending them back to your portal for additional information. You can define multiple templates within the um, email notification and then you can um, define when those templates are used. These emails can also go out in real time as you ship so you don't have to wait till end of day when the carrier decides to send them out. Just a few things that we're working on, currently working on with planned releases early 2016. Um, these front end interfaces to QuickBooks Online, Amazon, and Acumatica. Okay, I didn't want to spend too much time on PowerPoints. So I want to go straight into the demo. Today we're going to show you the Indicia Pro integration with QuickBooks Enterprise. So what you're looking at right now is Indicia Professional. This is where you would start your shipment. Um, when you install ShipGear for Indicia Professional, ShipGear will um, take your existing Indicia Professional profile and then add the ship gear information on top of it, which would be the integration to QuickBooks in this case. Um, our interfaces all come with default standards as far as the field mappings, but again, you have the ability to customize those to change the field maps as well as the translations. So I can either type, scan, or browse for an order number, and it's going to grab this order 7005 and what Shipgear did there is to go out to the QuickBooks database and then pull in all the information for this particular order. So we're going, gra grabbing the ship to, uh, the mail class is being translated from the ship via and you can also define various fields in the rubber stamp areas in reference fields here. So if you wanted certain fields to show up um, here to be printed on the label, something of that, that nature, you can do that as well. So I'm going to leave this as is and ship these items out first class in my 12 ounce package just to print the label. And when I click print label, this is going to um, automatically cause ship gear to update this QuickBooks order in real time. So let's go into QuickBooks and take a look at the order that we just processed. So here you'll notice that um, the order has been updated, the delivery charges, the description. This is user definable. You can tell Shipgear exactly what you want to show up here. Um, I just have the date, the tracking number, service, and number of packages, and then the amount is going to show up here as well. This amount, this freight amount here can include customizable um, handling fees. If you have the freight rules module, you can define those and when those are going to update. So that's pretty much it simple as it is to process a shipment with Shipgear. The other thing I wanted to show you this afternoon is the dashboard. So let me get out of here and just bring up the Shipgear dashboard so you can see what that looks like. It's just a really quick view that's going to give you um, the ability to see um, different metrics um, and then drill into those. So in this case I have this history view here. I'm going to go into this particular shipment and take a look at it. I'll see um, all the ship to information, packaging, charges. I can also find shipments here, so I can quickly look for shipments maybe by the customer PO. So if somebody in the front office has a customer calling in, maybe because they didn't receive their email, something of that nature, um, they would probably have their PO number as a reference. 
So um, this gives you an easy way to access your shipment history and to look shipments up by fields that make sense to you rather than maybe tracking number or something of that nature in the carrier system. So Caroline, this is usually the place where people jump out of their chairs because um, with this dashboard, is it true that you did not need to get into QuickBooks to see all this information? So if you had uh, salespeople, customer service representatives, whether they're in the office or out in the field on their mobile devices, they can access this as long as they have a web browser? Exactly. So this is actually, um, look, this is a view of the Shipgear data in the background. Um, and you do not have to have, you know, a QuickBooks license or anything in order to see this. It's just our little dashboard that accesses our data. Thank you. I think that the, the field reps and the customer service folks that no longer have to go into QuickBooks for this information, and this is just outstanding. Very yeah. exciting new feature of ours. Yeah, and then I just refreshed this, so you'll see that this is the shipment that we just processed, so it is going to give you, you know, real-time access to the data. It's that easy. Yeah, pretty easy. Um, you know, Kathy, I didn't really have any anything else um, on the ship your side. Um, I'm going to put up our contact information and oops. Let's go. This way. Let's try that again. I guess we have to go page down. There we go. I'm going to put up our contact information. So if anybody has questions, um, they can either contact me, Caroline, or Kathy. Um, we're both covering ship gear on the small business side for QuickBooks, um, Sage 50, eBay, and we have sales reps, other sales reps that cover um, our mid-market solutions like Sage 100, Microsoft Dynamics GP, as well as Exacto and Cola. So Caroline, Kathy, did there... you have any other questions out there? Yes, we have a few questions, so let's get to that. Um, one question from George is, uh, we currently use UPS and FedEx and stamps.com, and we're wondering what is the process to get signed up with Indisha? Okay, well, thanks, George. Um, you actually have a couple options. You know, if you're using that many carriers, three carriers in this case, um, our Starship solution may be something that you would like to consider. Um, that actually gives you the ability to process multiple carriers in one user interface, which simplifies the shipping process. Um, and Starship gives you a lot of other features, um, you know, associated to multi-carrier solution like rate shopping and auto-selecting the best service based on um, price and um, delivery date, something of that nature. Uh, but if you wanted to continue using Shipgear, um, if you're using it for UPS and FedEx and you just wanted to add the post office, you could do that as well. And that would mean that you would um, install Indisha Professional and um, you would create a new Indisha account. Um, I would recommend using our, um, our Shipgear um, link so that you can also have access to those CPP rates. Um, and then the integration to QuickBooks is going to, or whatever ERP system that you're using, is going to be um, very similar to the integration that you have with WorldShip and FedEx Ship Manager. Um, the only difference being, you know, the fields on the in the carrier supplied system. Um, those mappings might be slightly different because the carriers have obviously different options and fields within their own applications. 
Thank you, Caroline. And another question from Jody here is sometimes we have customers at a dozen times a month where we drop ship directly to the customer. Is Shipgear able to accommodate this? Yes, you can actually um, map. You can change the, the field maps and translations so that um, fields get automatically switched um, when you bring order information in. Um, so yes, you can change the field maps to automate that process. Okay, and uh, thank you so much for that question. We have um, Bill here. We're currently on QuickBooks Pro, and we're looking to upgrade in the near future to QuickBooks Enterprise. What versions of QuickBooks does Shipgear work with? Um, Shipgear can work with all flavors of QuickBooks Desktop, Pro, Premier, and Enterprise. Um, and then we are working on our QuickBooks Online integration um, to offer four flavors. If you um, have the QuickBooks Premier integration with Shipgear currently, um, you basically just have to um, purchase the enterprise interface, and then um, you'll get your um, new interface, which will access your enterprise data. Okay, great. Thank you, Caroline. And one more question. How about EDI? Does Shipgear work with our EDI requirements? This is a question from George again. Um, well, Shipgear really doesn't, uh, because it's just middleware between the ERP or accounting package and the carrier system, it's not really doing much on the EDI side. Um, however, if you're looking for automated EDI and shipping, I would say, again, you should take a look at Starship. Um, the Starship multi-carrier solution um, also has integration to uh, EDI providers like TrueCommerce, um, SPS, Redtail. And um, with those integrations, Starship can send shipment de detail directly to the EDI transaction manager um, so that they can generate the ASMs to your trading partners in a more automated way. Um, Starship also supports printing the 128 lab labels so that you can print the 128 labels at the same time as your shipping labels. Very good. Well, George, we hope that that covers that question about EDI. And Caroline, one question that usually always comes up that we can end with is, um, what's the process to get started with Starship or um, with Shipgear? If the customer's um, ready to get started, what what's the installation process look like? Um, well, Shipgear is really um, designed to be plug and play and to be um, installed, you know, by end users. It's um, just middleware that um, is connecting your um, orders to the carrier system. So um, we usually recommend that you try the 30-day free trial, uh, which will give you full working copy of Shipgear for 30 days. Um, and there's a little wizard for setup. I'd say you probably, if you know your login information for your um, accounting or ERP system, the installation process is probably under 30 minutes. Um, to get going, and then you can actually try it out and um, make sure it, you know, it's going to do what you need it to do. Um, and then from there, um, for purchasing Shipgear, Shipgear is part of the UPS CTP and FedEx um, Tech Award programs. Those are the um, subsidy programs that the carriers provide to customers who have contracts to do a certain amount of volume. So if you have those types of funds, you can definitely use those to purchase um, ship gear or Starship for that matter. Well, good. This was very informative. Thank you, Caroline. And thank you, everyone, for attending today. I don't see any more questions, so I think we can wrap up. And um, 
thank you all for joining us. Caroline, do you have anything else to finish with? Nope, I'm all set. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate it. Great. Have a good day. Thank you, you everyone. Too. Bye -bye.